Hi there, this is Dr. Evan Osar, developer of the Integrative Movement System. Welcome to this three-part video series of Integrative Movement Insider, training your older client and being very purposeful with how you use your training programs. So in this three-part video series, I'm going to share with you one of the key concepts we share during our live workshops and especially focus upon in our three-day intensive program, the Integrative Corrective Exercise Instructor Program. That key concept is being very purposeful about your exercises. And here's what I mean by that concept. In a three-part integrative movement system corrective exercise strategy, we first do our release work. So we want to release where the clients are holding tightness. Next, we want to do our activation. So activate where they may be inhibited and activate the muscles and the movements around a more optimal alignment and control strategy. Then we want to take these concepts and integrate them into the fundamental movement patterns. And that's really where a lot of the success lays in your training program, is the integration. How do you take the ideas and concepts from corrective exercise and integrate the principles, alignment, breathing, and control, into the fundamental movement patterns? So in this video, we're gonna focus on the foot. In the next video, we'll talk about the core. And in the third video, we'll talk more about the shoulder and a pushing pattern. So what do we mean by integration of these principles? And what that really means is once we teach our client the proper alignment and control of the foot tripod position, which is basically alignment and weight underneath the big toe, small toe, and heel, and to maintain that relative control between those three points of the foot, we want to integrate that into the fundamental movement patterns. So first we teach the foot tripod position in a seated position so our clients can feel where that position is and they can get a sense of the three points of their feet. And it doesn't mean that the weight is all upon the three points, but the majority of the weight through the foot should be between the big toe, small toe, and heel. Next, we have our clients stand up. So from here, they stand up and maintain their foot tripod, and we'll just kind of have them shift side to side, forward and back, and even rotate and relatively feel the connection between those three points of their feet. Next, we want to take them through a squat pattern. So they learn how to load that foot tripod position. So we'll have them squat, so they do their squat pattern, and as they squat and load their hips, we want to maintain that foot tripod position and then come back up. And it doesn't mean their feet don't move, it just means that the majority of the weight remains over the big toe, small toe, and heel. As they load, their feet should elongate and widen, and as they stand, their feet should react to that upright position. So they, we load, the foot spreads out, and as they come back up, they maintain that foot tripod position and they maintain that control between those three points of their feet. Once they've learned how to successfully do that motion, then we teach them how to move out of that static position. So we'll have them do like a side step or side lunge. We'll have them step to the side, connect to that foot tripod position, sit into their hip, and then come back out of that position. So set the foot tripod, connect, and then come back out of that position. So that way we're teaching them how to dynamically now control that foot tripod position. So they step, maintain foot tripod, load the hip, hip, knee, ankle, and foot remain aligned, and then come back out of that position. They load the foot, and then come back out of that position. So that way they're, we're teaching them how to dynamically control that foot tripod position. So we're teaching them how to move through the frontal plane. We'll also teach them how to do a forward and reverse lunge positions. We'll teach them the split squat. We'll teach them step ups, controlling that foot tripod position through all those movement patterns. So that way we integrate the alignment and control that we developed during our corrective exercise strategy and we integrate that into the fundamental movement patterns. And that's ultimately what gives you the best opportunity to have your clients successfully take those concepts, integrate them into their exercises, and ultimately develop the habits that they need for everyday life activities, sports, and or their occupation. So this is Dr. Evan Osler with Integrative Movement Insider, sharing with you the key concept of being purposeful with corrective exercise and how you use corrective exercise in your fundamental movement patterns and ultimately your training programs with your older clients. In video two, I'll take and share with you how we use these concepts with one of our common core patterns we use with our older clients. Thanks for watching and watch for video two coming to your inbox shortly. Take care, we'll catch you next time.